All parties of the matter, Walls versus Carpenter. Step forward. Norman Walls is suing his former employer, Steve Carpenter, for wages and a Harley Davidson. Steve is countersuing for repairs to an excavator. Mr. Walls, you entered into an agreement with the defendant to do some work for him. Yes, ma'am. And at about the same time, you saw that he had a motorcycle for sale. So what you decided to negotiate with him was a combination of barter and pay. You negotiated a price, according to you, about $9,000 for the motorcycle. And you were going to be doing some excavation work for him. You worked for him for a month? Yes, ma'am. And during that time, he kept your wages? Or did he pay you at all? He would hold out about two-thirds of my wages and, and pay me a third do you about, have pay slips to demonstrate no, that? No, ma'am, I have what he held out and the dates. I would like to see what he held out. And you have those dates <coughs> as yes, well? Yes, ma'am, so I have his paychecks that, that okay. I know he has the... Okay, <sighs> let's see if the numbers compare. How much did he withhold from your pay towards the purchase of the bike, Mr. Walls? Approximately $6,500. And let me see what you have, sir. How much do you have that you withheld? 3850 That's a big difference. Okay. I paid him some and... Uh, oh, well, just a second. You have 3850 to be returned. Yes, ma'am. So you agree that that's the number, that he withheld 3850 Yes, ma'am. Then we're in sync. Yes, ma'am. Not 6500 Perfect. And then Mr. Carpenter fired you. He doesn't deny that he fired you, and that was on the 13th? No, ma'am, I did not fire him. I had, we had no more work to do because he had torn up my excavator bucket. Uh, he had, it just stated that he was fired, but we had no other work. So I, I fired him and had to hire someone else to fix his mistakes. That's what you signed. Okay. That's well, what you signed. Fired or let go, let him go. Told him I didn't uh, That's what anymore. you said. You fired him. Okay. So now you fired him. And he doesn't have his 3850, and he doesn't have the bike. And my overtime. Just to forget your overtime. Doesn't have the bike, doesn't have his wages, and? He has the bike. He has the bike? No, he, he came and got the bike. That's a lie. That's a total lie. Now you can ask my witness here. Just they come and got Shh. the bike. Mm. Just a second. Mr. Carpenter, what the heck is wrong with you, sir? You filed an answer, and your answer says the bike was never paid off, so there's no way he's getting that bike. That's what you the title, answered. Yes, ma'am. That's he, what you signed. Moved. That's what you signed here. He had moved. That's a lie. I, mean, I don't moved. want to hear you. He had moved his trailer to my shop, and had take possession of the bike, and was using the bike, and it sat at my shop, and it's still sitting at my shop. Listen to I me. Was not, I was not going to give him the title to it. Listen to me, sir. Yes, ma'am. You just said he has the bike. He doesn't have the bike. He had the bike until he moved his trailer off of okay. my property. Now, you also told me that you fired him because you had no more work for him. He had abused my equipment and ran it in an improper way until he tore it up. And we had we were supposed to be using a steel ball and he used the bucket. Judgment for the it. plaintiff in the amount of 3850. We're done. Counterclaims dismissed.